Hey guys, Dion from Dion Video Productions here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to export a Final Cut Pro 10 project as an Instagram story. Let's get started. All right guys, so here we are on Final Cut Pro 10. The first thing we're gonna to want to do is have a project uh, that we wanna use and turn into a story. Now, in this case, I have a fashion film that I recently shot, and this will serve as a good example for this tutorial. So uh, the first thing we're gonna, or what we're gonna want to do next here is create a new project under the existing event uh, that we have here. So we're gonna right click and select new project. Uh, because this is going to be our Instagram story here, uh, let's call it spring summer 19 IG story. Uh, whoa, can't spell. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is actually change the format under the video tab. So uh, instead of 1080p, we're gonna select custom. And from here, we can manually change the resolution. Uh, now, to fit the aspect ratio of uh, an Instagram story or that of a, a mobile device, uh, we want, of course, a very tall yet narrow frame. So we're going to actually swap these two figures around. Uh, so instead of it being 1920 by 1080, we're going to do 1080 by 1920. Of course, we're going to want to make sure that our frame rate stays consistent with that of the original project, uh, which in my case is 60 frames per second. Uh, the rest of the settings can remain the same. Uh, let's go back to our original project here and let's bring in our footage. So what we're going to do is press Command A to select all of our footage. Then we'll press Command C to copy. We'll go back to our Instagram story project that we just created and we're going to go ahead and paste this in. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, press Shift Z to expand the project here uh, and let's close our events tab here. All right, so already, uh, as you can see, we have a good looking aspect ratio. This looks much more like a phone display versus of course the, the normal uh, 16 by nine ratio, uh, but the footage does not fully fill this. Uh, now Final Cut does this so that you can still see all of your remaining clips, uh, but what we wanna do is actually zoom in uh, to, to fully expand and maximize the screen space here. Uh, so before we do that though, it is important to note that an Instagram story must be 15 seconds or under. Uh, so we're gonna have to select a 15 second segment from this video uh, that we want to use. So let's go ahead and remove the audio for this and uh, we're gonna remove the first couple clips and let's say I wanna start my story here and I can end it. Okay, so I can end it perfectly just about there. Uh, as you can see, this is just below 15 seconds, uh, so it's a good place to end this story here. So I'm gonna remove the rest. Um, now, I'm gonna actually keep these titles because I want to include these in my story. So I'm gonna take these elements separately here, drag them to the start of the video, and remove this last, uh, this last clip here. So as you can see, we've now shortened the project to just below 15 seconds, uh, which is the perfect time required for a story. All right, so before we work on these uh, on these titles here, which I'm currently just gonna hide, I'm just gonna select them all and press V to bring them out of frame, just to focus on the footage here, because as you can see, we have to, of course, make some changes. So the first thing we're gonna do is select this clip here, uh, and then we're gonna go back into our inspector tab, and then under the movies tab or video tab, uh, we go down to the scale, option and then we're going to type in 320 percent now this percentage does vary depending slightly on your footage uh, the original aspect ratio and resolution of course but also whether you have letterboxing uh, on your footage now in my case i don't and be and this being a uh, 1080p file originally uh, 320 percent works perfectly for this because as you can see this now fills the entire frame uh, we're going to go ahead and actually do this to the rest of our clips too. So we'll go ahead and select them one by one while holding shift. That way they're all selected. And once they're all selected here, we go back into the same menu and type in 320%. And as you can see, there we go. All of our footage now properly fills this screen. But of course, a lot of our footage is cut off and this clip here is a good example. Uh, the framing definitely has to be altered. Uh, now, of course, you have to really do this clip by clip, but I'm gonna just show you one for example, uh, which is this first clip here. So let's say we want to uh, move her face slightly to the right. Of course, we don't want the model's face cut off by the edge of the frame here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is select the clip under the same menu. Uh, we will go ahead and now shift it along the X axis. So we can simply press and hold and then move up and down. So moving it up, will move your frame to the right and down, we'll move it to the left. So let's take a look here. If I just quickly skim through this. All right, this already looks much better. What I'm gonna do now is move the rest of the clips as well. Uh, I'm gonna speed up through this and then we'll be right back. All right guys, so as you can see, everything is now rendered. Uh, and if we play it back, we can see that every clip is relatively well uh, framed within the frame. Uh, of course, I quickly did this here for the sake of this video. You can do much more precisely uh, for your actual story, of course. Um, as you can see, everything plays back smoothly and everything is framed properly within this very narrow aspect ratio. 
Uh, now, previously I copied over these titles here, so let's bring these back into frame or back into view here uh, by pressing V again. And um, let's go ahead and drag these over the entire length of the clip here. I think this is a great way to not only showcase the logo with the company that I've worked, also, of course, my own logo, as well as any other text uh, that I want to add here. Uh, so let's go ahead and drag these all the way to the end of our project here. Uh, each individually, there we go. All right, now of course we are gonna have to do some repositioning as of course our frame uh, is entirely covered here, which we don't want. So we're gonna go ahead and select these one by one and then move them along the Y axis here uh, to move them up and down. So the same, the same method uh, as before, uh, this time of course using the Y axis instead of the X axis here. So uh, there's the word collection, now the spring summer bring that down here. Uh, I'm actually going to make these slightly smaller. So I'm going to go into the scale here and let's say 90% for both of these here. Um, let's see. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly let this render. All right, so everything is now complete and rendered and uh, our story is now finished. So let's go ahead and play this back one more time. Make sure we're happy. Uh, all the frames are framed correctly. The text looks good. Uh, and this is everything that we need for our story. So now let's go ahead and export this out of Final Cut and actually bring it to our phone to upload to Instagram. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under the share menu here on the top right and we're gonna export this as a master file. And uh, as you can see, this uh, we can change the name if we like. Uh, we can also notice that the file size will be relatively small, uh, of course, being a uh, less than 15 second video here. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and simply press next. We don't have to change any settings as everything is already set. Uh, and then let's go ahead and uh, save this to our desktop for now. All right, so here on our desktop, as you can see, we now have the file, uh, we can play it back, everything looks great. Uh, and now to bring this to our phone, uh, there's various ways to do this. Of course, if you're on Android, uh, you can use something like Dropbox or WeTransfer, uh, but because I'm transferring this to my iPhone, I'm gonna simply use AirDrop. This is a very easy way to just send files uh, from Mac to your iPhone or vice versa. Now, of course, you're gonna want to make sure that your AirDrop is activated on your phone. You can simply search this via Spotlight and then make sure that receiving is on. From here, we're gonna go into our Mac and uh, open a new finder window under which we'll find the AirDrop uh, menu and then we'll find our phone and simply click and drag the file over and then once it is completely sent, it will automatically open up on your iPhone. Once the file is on your iPhone, uh, this is all that's required. You simply open up uh, Instagram, add a new story, swipe up, and just like you would with any other story, and your exported file will be there and nothing else needs to be done as it is already perfectly framed uh, and edited for the specifications required of a story. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully you're now able to export professional looking stories from Final Cut to Instagram. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like down below and also leave any questions or feedback in the comment section and subscribe for more content like this.